Welcome to day three on week six. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a speed double arm pull down for 20 seconds, as many reps as you can get. Also a standing overhead press, 20 seconds, as many repetitions as you can get. And last but not least, med ball rotations for 10 seconds or a pillow, whatever you have access to. We will be doing this three times through. So for our speed pull down, this is a little different. We are gonna go as fast as we can for 20 seconds. I'm gonna hold it. This would, again, this would be attached to some sort of pull. She's just gonna go as fast as she can for 20 seconds. Rest. Our next exercise is a standing overhead press. Again, I'm gonna pull down as hard as I can and push up as hard as I can for 20 seconds. Go ahead and stand on the side, Peanut. Arms here, all the way up, all the way down. Full speed, 20 seconds, quicker, quicker. All the way up, all the way down. Make sure that butt is squeezed so the back is not coming into play. Rest. Same thing as a few days before, last week. We're gonna go kneeling med ball rotations or rainbows, however you wanna think about it. Starting at the hip, you are throwing the crap out of the ball as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Make sure we're breathing out as that ball is coming down. Breathe out as that ball is coming down. Rest. We have Bulgarian split squats. Now we're actually gonna to start to use the full split squat instead of an ISO. If you need support, if you need to limit your range of motion, that's A-OK. -okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Bulgarian split squat for 15 seconds each leg. We're gonna go right to banded lunges. So I'm gonna have it around my waist going forward so there's a big emphasis on the quad. And last but not least, we have calf raises. We have 20 reps, double it. So again, on the split squat, the back leg will go up. I will increase and go down and I will go ahead and push through that heel all the way up and all the way down. If I have to limit my range of motion, that's fine. If I have to use something in front of me like a table to pull myself up off the ground, that's okay too. I want you to push through the heel, big emphasis on the glute and the upper hamstring. Our next exercise is a banded lunge. Now, it's over speed in the performance world means she's gonna be faster on the way down. So she's gonna have to push the ground away with her quad and her patella. Deceleration happens every time you go down steps. So we like to train that in a very good fashion. So she's gonna to go to me, down, and push the ground away from herself. Go down, push the ground away from herself every single time through the patella and the quad. If you guys don't know what the patella is, it's that big tendon in the middle of the knee which goes up into the quad. So again, think about pushing the ground away from you as you're doing these exercises good. Last but not least is our calf raises. So what we're gonna do is again, she's gonna slightly bend her legs and she's gonna go all the way up through her toes. Just try to stay vertical, don't rock your knees as far forward. Good. All the way up into the calf, there you go, good job. Push through that big toe and rest. Our last superset of the day, we're gonna do this four times. What we have is rotations high to low, which we'll use with a band, and we're gonna be doing that 15 seconds each way. Next, we have squat jumps in and out for 15 seconds with a mini band around our legs. Last but not least, we have banded knee pulls in for those hip flexors in the hips. On our rotations high to low, again, you wanna make sure that attachment is up here. She's gonna be grabbing the band and she's gonna be rotating from high, again, to low. Squashing that bug. She's starting to move me a little bit. Good. Squash the bug, push away. Squash the bug, push away. Good. Our next exercise is a squat jump. There's a band around your knees because I wanna force more external rotation here to where my glute meat is firing. So what we're gonna be doing is down it up. I like to use a line. We're gonna go in and out pushing all the way through those feet, pushing through the heels and dropping the big toe into the ground so I can activate the arch of my foot to jump into the air. Rest. Our last thing is knee pull-ins. So what you can see is I'm gonna to continue to walk away further and further to create tension. She's gonna drive her feet out and drive her knees right back to her chest. All hip flexor, all so as. A lot of tension in the lower back. It is not an easy exercise. She's making this look easy. Rest.